Hello my friends and welcome to an ultimate clean with me as I clean and disinfect my house after hosting my family of around 30 people over for a family cookout. It was so fun, we had such a great time and now it's time for me to clean and disinfect my house. Before we get into the clean with me, I'd like to thank Factor for sponsoring today's video. So as most of you probably already know, Factor is my bae. I love Factor. It comes through for me so many times throughout the year, especially when I just don't have time to cook or prep or um, meal plan and all of that. So basically what it is, it's fresh, never frozen meals delivered right to your door. They're dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. You just pop it in the microwave, two minutes later, you have a delicious meal ready for you to eat. Even when I'm not keto, I still like to eat these meals because they taste that good. Charles and I both love them so much, especially for lunch. But even if you're not keto, they also have like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, or Vegan and Veggie. Also, you they they have more than 60 add-ons every week, like every week. Like you can add breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, be and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good throughout the day. Knowing that you had a good meal and you weren't just eating a bunch of processed snacks. Here in Georgia, it's been well over 90 degrees every day. And sometimes it's just way too hot for me to even think about putting my stove or oven on, especially during lunchtime, during the heat of the day. It is just perfect to have these meals to pop into the microwave. Especially in the summer for us, my kids swim on two different sw swim leagues in the summer and we're just always on the go. So it's just really easy for us. If you're interested, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code 50GIA to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders for both new and repeat customers. That's code 50GIA at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. Okay, let's start cleaning. So as you can see, that was the before of everything in my living room and my kitchen, because that's the primary where, primarily where everyone was hanging out. So what I first need to do is just put away all of my entertaining, quote unquote, entertaining pieces. Like I bought these drink dispensers. Uh, one was from um, um, Sam's Club members, Mark, and the other one was from Costco. And to be honest, they really didn't work that well. I think it was because I didn't have the things screwed on properly. I don't know, I don't wanna return it because I feel like I'll use them again, but this time put them together properly. I was in such a rush to make sure uh, everything was done and we were eating at a, a good time that I really didn't have time to make sure that everything was screwed on properly because they were leaking. And then um, that one that I'm putting away here, I had sangria in and there was like frozen fruit and like the drink dispenser part just wasn't working. We just ended up having to ladle it out. So um, uh, I will test them out again um, soon and then I'll decide if I'm going to keep them or return them. Something else that I really loved were these serving trays. I got an excellent deal on them on Groupon probably maybe two years ago now and I was just waiting and waiting to use them. I did use them uh, during Christmas time when my in-laws were here um, and this was my first time using them hosting a lot of people at my house and I really really liked them. I also have the wire framed sternos that you can buy from Costco or Sam's Club. Um, I'm working on my collection to have more of the ones that you just saw me put away so that um, they'll all be all metal like that. Um, but I really, really like those. That Those came in handy a lot. And I'm just really proud of myself that I'm, you know, cleaning up literally the day after. I had gotten up at 5.30 in the morning to start cooking the day of the cookout. And well, it wasn't the day after, it was really like two days after. But old Gia would have procrastinated and waited and waited and waited and waited 
to get my house back in order. But, you know, I've been really, really working on myself on um, becoming the person that I want to be. And I just been really praying about it. And I'm really seeing the results in my mindset and attitude when it comes to cleaning. Um, and so here I'm just emptying the coolers. We had emptied all of the coolers, um, like the ice and the water in the coolers, but I'm putting all of the leftover soda because we don't really drink a lot of soda. I'm putting them in my bevy bar, which is what you see here on the left. I got this from Costco, it was on clearance. I think I spent like maybe 50 bucks on it. Normally I think they're maybe 130 or maybe even 150, I'm not sure. I will link them, link it if I can find a, a link for it. Um, for YouTube shop, but um, I love this thing. I love it so much. You could, we could put ice at the bottom there and then I usually have the beverage bar on top. Sometimes I'll make this the like alcoholic um, little beverage bar and then I use a separate table for like, you know, water and soda and stuff like that. Um, for this particular party, I think we just had the juice there and um, some beer and uh, wine coolers underneath, So, um, which is nice. So this comes in handy. We typically leave this in the basement until you know we host people or have the holidays or something like that. So as I was saying earlier, I've been really working on changing my mindset when it comes to cleaning and really caring for my home and not looking at it like it's such a chore, but more, more or less like a blessing. Um, for those that have been subscribed for a while, you know that I used to always say that I suffer from decision fatigue. Like it would drain me so much to have to make so many mundane decisions about things in my home because we just had such a vast pure huge amount of things in my home and so i'd have to decide is this something we're going to keep is this something to throw away is this something to recycle is this something to donate if we keep it then where are we going to put it um finding a place everything must have a place everything must have a place and you know i have a larger home and we have had a lot of things and it would constantly drain my energy which is why i never liked cleaning because my counters would always be full of stuff like this this island it's huge and it would always just be a drop zone because my garage door is straight ahead to the left and we would come in from the garage and just drop stuff and leave it and so um then at the end of the week it's like oh it's such a mess in here and there's so many things everywhere i just don't know what to do so something that my pastor was saying is that you need to um, clean your home you need to have an organized home clean your home um, it affects the energy in your home and you know it's just it's just really helpful and so i had been praying about that asking god to help me to um like remove this blockage that i have when it comes to cleaning okay um, because it is a blessing to have a home to clean and a family to take care of and I'm able to clean. So many people would love to clean if they were able to. Some people can't physically because of their ailments or their sickness. And so um, I really started looking at it like that. And honestly, you guys, um, since I had been praying about it and I am a Christian for those that don't know, so I speak from a Christian perspective, um, it has really, really helped. I, and to be honest, I have not had someone come in and professionally clean my home since March. I've been keeping up with it myself. And I'm really proud of myself because like I said, I never thought that I would be one of those people that has a cleaning routine and I have a quarterly cleaning routine. I mean, I still don't have anything that sophisticated. I kind of just go with what I know needs to be done and what makes me feel good because at the end of the day, a clear counter space makes me feel good. I walk into my kitchen and I feel good about it. And that affects everybody else in my home. And so, um, I'm, like I said, I'm really proud of myself because now I'm, I'm taking care of my home and I'm cleaning it the way it needs to be cleaned. Something else that I've realized over these last couple of months with not having anybody professionally come and clean my home is that nobody cleans and takes care of your things the way you do. Okay. The owner of whatever said thing. So I, I realized that I was paying to have my home cleaned per, quote unquote professionally for so long. But honestly, my house was never really deep clean during that time. And whereas with me, when I deep clean my kitchen, I'm scrubbing my cabinets, I'm hitting every corner. I'm really making sure that um, everything's clean. The, the baseboards, the window seals, everything. 
And not to say that, and it's not to knock the professionals that I had come cleaning my house. I think they did, you know, their best, but I really realized that nobody really cleans your house or your home the way that you do. So you're probably thinking, Gia, why did you just use that Clorox Free and Clear on your, you know, throw rugs in your kitchen? Well, before the cookout, I actually pressure washed um, these rugs in here because, you know, I just wanted them to be clean. And, you know, a good pressure wash on a throw rug like this will make it look brand new. And that's how they actually looked. It looked, it, it, they turned out really, really well. Um, but during the family cookout, um, you know, like I said, I had a lot of people here and everybody had their shoes on. And, um, by the time I realized everybody had their shoes on, cause I was just so busy making sure everybody, you know, was comfortable, had something to eat, had something to drink and everything. It was like, they had already been here for a while. <laughs> so, uh, I'm doing this to really basically disinfect the rugs because I don't feel like pressure washing them again. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure that they're not Jeremy. We typically do not wear shoes in our home. Uh, we wear our house shoes, which is what you see me wearing now. Like I never go outside with those. And sometimes I'll even disinfect the bottom of those shoes. Um, but we don't typically wear um, our outside shoes in our home. So when someone comes and they don't take their shoes off, I after they leave, I will disinfect my rugs. I'll even spray that. You'll see me later on spraying that Clorox free and clear on my main in my living room car um, carpet uh until i shampoo those rugs um which is probably time to shampoo those anyway but it just gives me peace of mind like oh my gosh there's not like a million germs on my rug because my kids still sit on the floor we all sit on the floor and we'll play games or we'll just play or whatever uh, we all you know will sit on the carpet at any given time so i always like to make sure that they are disinfected and clean now after i you know spray the clorox free and clear you see i vacuumed it with my vacuum and now i'm just sweeping getting ready to use my tinico now let's talk about the tinico what do you guys think about the tinico um i feel like there was a huge push online for the tinico especially for the cleaning influencers and i'm not gonna lie it looked very appealing very very appealing the fact that you can you know sweep and mop at the same time but what i found was that um in order to keep them clean and make sure that they're not smelly you have to immediately clean them after you're done and um which is good practice but at the same time it makes it easier if you just sweep beforehand or vacuum beforehand so not all that gunk gets caught up in the machine because that stuff is in the machine either way and it needs to come out you know so it's easier to just vacuum or sweep beforehand and then use the tinico and then you can go from there 
actually, and I actually filmed a short for this. I just haven't edited it to put it onto my um, channel yet, but I actually did um, use my Tenneco and I wanted to see if my floors were really clean. And then I used my, um, my mop, my spin mop um, as well after I used the Tenneco and the, the water was still really dirty. <laughs> after I had used the Tenneco. So for my Tenneco, it's just like in between, um, like I'll do it once a week and then I'll actually, you know, take my spin mop out probably every two weeks and really deep clean my floors because I honestly do not think that um, the Tenneco really gets it clean. I, does it disinfect it? Yes, I used, um, not the cleaner that comes with Tenneco. I use a little bit of Lysol all-purpose cleaner in the concentrated kind in the water because it makes me feel like it's just disinfecting it um, <laughs> a lot better. Um, now my O Cedar mop, which is what I use to deep clean my floors, I will use a little bit of Murphy's oil soap and hot, hot, scolding hot water. That's another thing. You can't put hot water in this Tenneco. This is not one of those expensive Tenecos. I think it was like this machine was like 150. I got it at Walmart. So of course it's not sponsored. Um, and that's just my honest opinion on it. Does it work for a quick clean? Yes, but is your floors, are your floors still dirty after you use this? Probably yes. You know, is, is it something quick to use just to clean up your floors real quick, which is what I'm doing? Yes, because like I had a, a lot of foot traffic in my kitchen. Like I said, everybody had their shoes on and I just wanted to disinfect my floors kind of quickly. Um, but I will go back and deep clean it with my, um, O cedar mop and like I said that scolding hot water with the Murphy's oil soap old school style that really gets the floors really clean and I really do think it, it has to do with the hot water um, but now I feel like the Tenneco came out a few years ago but now there's so many different like Bissell has a really nice one they all have their own kind of um, all the brands have their own wet dry mop um, so I don't, I really don't know if the Tenneco is the best one. I know some of these Tenecos can range up to seven, $800. And I'm like, girl, who has been in that on this Tenneco? <laughs> and it doesn't even really get your floors that much clean, cleaner than a regular spin mop. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I would love to know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below and let me know. were so dirty. 
So I finally made it over here in the living room. Of course, my daughters had a lot of their toys down here because there was half of the people that were here were kids. <laughs> so like there were like 15 kids and 15 adults. And so we had our games and out and toys out. Those two chairs that you see in the upper left-hand corner, those are actually two chairs that are a part of the patio set, the brand new patio set that we got for, or dining set that we got for our deck outside um, i talk about that in the previous costco haul video um, you can tap the eye in the upper right hand corner to watch that video because i also got a brand new rug for our deck the rug that you're looking at right now i got from costco as well as the rug from our deck so we were really trying to like you know jazz up our little space or whatever for our, our company for our family but i really love this rug though i like the pattern of the rug it is a little on the small side for my living room but it doesn't really bother me i know the professionals on um, instagram are probably like that's the worst always get a bigger size rug <laughs> but anyway so here i am taking my off uh, the Clorox free and clear I really like this because it's it doesn't you can't smell it it doesn't have a strong scent um, and it kills the germs at the end of the day it's probably not the cleanest thing that you can do but I just wanted to make sure um, everything was just disinfected and and cleaned properly um, afterwards because it's very germy if you didn't know COVID was on the rise again and so um, you know I'm just taking precautions or whatever to make sure that um, our home is disinfected I also like to let the Clorox for free and clear sit for a minute. You can't tell because of editing, of course, and I'm speeding the video up, but I let it sit for like 10 minutes or so before I start vacuuming as I'm doing here. I'm like vacuuming the, um, our couch, our sofa, and now I'm vacuuming um, the, the rug, the area rug and the rugs underneath. Um, but like I said, 10 minutes had passed before I started really um, vacuuming because I just wanted it to kill any germs um but yeah uh, overall like i said I, i'm really to go back to me making the changes for myself I, I stopped speaking um about cleaning negatively and i stopped speaking like it was hard for me to do you know what i mean um and that was a big change that i made because i felt like god was telling me to you know change my language again and my mindset about when the negativity when it comes to to cleaning also something that i realized that you know if i want more in life if i want to increase in life you know uh, i want to make sure i'm taking care of the things that are important to me um nicely and if i want god to bless me with more things i've got to show that i appreciate and i care for the things that i'm blessed enough to have now so um yeah I'm okay really i am all done you guys remember how it looked before. Now everything's disinfected and clean. I'm just really trying to keep up with cleaning my own house. I don't have anybody come and clean for me anymore. To make a long story short, I feel like all the years that I've had somebody clean, my house has never really been deep cleaned the way it should be. So I've been taking upon myself to just do what I can. This is probably the clearest I've ever seen my counters. Like, seriously. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm so thankful. I'm so glad we had a good time at the party and now everything's back to normal. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.